so I have another video. This is teeth related. Okay. okay. So whether this is true or not, I don't know. What up, TikTok? I'm making this video for one purpose and one purpose only. And that is because my dentist asked me this question today. And because my dentist asked me this question today, it made me feel good. I'm not going to lie. However, other people have come out to me and asked me the same question before. And that is, how do you keep your teeth so white? Now, do I think I have the nicest, most white teeth in the world? Absolutely not. They're not bad. I take pride in keeping my teeth decently nice. And that is because when I'm talking to somebody, that's the first thing I look at on them. And I'm just assuming it's the same thing when they're talking to me. I used to use Crest whitening strips, probably about once every three to four months, just one strip on the top, one strip on the bottom row. That was it. Now I heard it's pretty bad for your enamel in the long run. And I was on TikTok the other day. This dentist was reviewing this video. It's a healthier option or whatnot. So this is what I do now. I get my mouthwash. This mouthwash is pretty good. Their breath. I use it till about a quarter of the way down. I then fill the rest of it up with 3% hydrogen peroxide. I put a teaspoon of baking soda. Mix it all up. I use it every single night. Rinse it in my mouth for about 30 seconds and mix it out with water. I've only been doing this for a month, like I said. I don't know the long-term results compared to Crest whitening strips. It is a healthier option. So if you guys care, boom. Thoughts? Is that is that real? Like baking soda and all that? And peroxide? I, and peroxide? Yes. Yes? But it's not dramatic. Really? Like, yeah. So the way dentists whiten teeth are with really strong commercial grade peroxides. Okay. Right? But it's we're talking 10, 15, 20, 30%, not... 3%. So the 3% hydrogen peroxide you have under your, your bathroom sink, yeah, it, it may help contribute to um, keeping your teeth white, but it's not nearly as strong as the whitening strips like he was talking about, or even um, the whitening, I don't want to say gels, or I have to say medications, but the whitening gels or whatever that you're going to get at the dental office. Yeah. You know, they're much stronger. As far as being hard on your enamel, um, peroxides aren't necessarily hard on your enamel. Most, what, what can happen though, is you can get cold sensitivity when you're oh, your teeth. really, and that can be, um, very uncomfortable actually. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. in order to combat that, some, they put different formulations of calcium phosphate and fluoride and other minerals and ions to try to help strengthen your teeth at the same time they're being whitened. Yeah. So that actually is beneficial if they have those extra minerals and things in there. Um, obviously, you know, we're not talking about ingesting them because yeah. <laughs> you probably will swallow some of that and that's going to be a little toxic. So, you know, it is a balance, right? Yeah. But as far as like, does this 3% peroxide work to help keep your teeth white? Maybe. Is there something like, since he adds the baking soda, what is... What, the what baking soda mean? really like when people would brush their teeth with baking soda and peroxide the baking soda was really just kind of like an abrasive it was like a dentrophase oh. and well and the other thing is man we're going i don't know how far off the cliff you want to go stop me if i stop making sense in english but <laughs> um cavities thrive in an acidic environment so baking soda being more basic also helps to change the ph of your mouth and um, to a less acidic environment. So that helps to not have the cavity process continue. And, um, but also it was, uh, it was an abrasive. It was a dentrophyse is what they call it in toothpaste. And that's what makes it kind of scratchy is they have compounds in there that help you clean and plaque off your teeth with your toothbrush. Wow. And so that's kind of what the baking soda, the role the baking soda played in the peroxide. Uh, so you said dentists have a much higher percentage peroxide and that they use it's usually carbamide peroxide not hydrogen peroxide is, uh, but there's other peroxides is that is there anything available to the public or is that only because you're in that industry well so that it comes that high percentage it's available through your dentist uh, okay. you know what i'm saying mean, like but mean, like, yeah. can you buy it over so the like the crest white something? strips like the guy was talking about yeah the the crest white strips are legit and they do whiten your teeth really and they do work Hmm. Um, okay. typically they're not quite as strong as what you'd get from your dentist so the results may take a little longer gotcha. but obviously that kid he already had really white teeth yeah. so maintaining it's a lot easier than you know getting them there yeah right it's okay. always it's always easier to maintain health yeah. than, than obtain than obtain it from an unhealthy situation yeah it's always wild to me that people will spend money on you know the gym hair nails uh i mean you name it but they're always tentative to go to the dentist. Right. They'll try to anything over the counter or anything else to not go to the dentist for some reason. 
That's interesting, huh? Yeah. We're trying to help change that paradigm in our practice just by helping kids have amazing experiences. Yeah. And, you know, you, you don't always win that outcome, but it's heartening when I go to my kids' schools or when we go to the grocery store, yeah. kids run up to me and say hi. Like, yeah. they're not afraid to see me. That's awesome. And mm-hmm. that's really cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, you're starting to try to make it better and hopefully it catches on. Right. Um, so I don't know. I, but I yeah. wonder, like, it's a highly personal thing. You know, you go in and have somebody, like, digging around in your mouth. Like, that is, that's inside your body. Yeah. That's different than, like, getting your nails done or your hair. That's outside your body. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, it's a little more personal and it's not necessarily comfortable sometimes. Yeah. Right. So it's, there's, um, it's, it's more invasive yeah. to, to go to the dentist, but you need to go. Yeah. Right. Preventive you maintenance. You, yeah. you need to go every six months yeah. because a little problem is easy to fix. Yeah. Years of neglect. It's expensive. It hurts and it doesn't last very long. So now another question, those UV like black light gel things, you know what I'm talking about? They're like you put the gels in the on your teeth, and then you take the light that's plugged in, and you yeah. Do those even work? I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I have no one idea. of the problems of being in pediatrics is we really don't deal with whitening very much, so yeah. I'm not necessarily up to date. It's more on, maintenance on the well, the latest um, not trends, but you know the the latest and greatest products in the whitening space, the aesthetic space. We don't necessarily deal with that necessarily like a cosmetic dentist would or a family. Family practitioner that sees mostly adults. Yeah. Especially from, and one of the reasons for that is you can whiten uh, primary teeth or baby teeth, but they're going to be tremendously sensitive. And most of the time, baby teeth are actually whiter than permanent teeth anyway. And so we get that question quite a bit. Like, they're like, hey, when their permanent teeth are coming in, parents all the time, they'll be like, hey, they're yellow. It's like, well, no, really, they're normal, but they're next to something that's super white. So yeah. it looks it looks yellow. Right. Once you get more of your permanent teeth and it balances the smile out, then that usually color differential goes away. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us on the value script. We were just reacting to a TikTok video about whitening your teeth. So good job on that, babe. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks for babe. Your insight. <laughs> All right. Don't forget to awesome. join us next time. Don't forget to do your part too. Clickety click, like, share, and subscribe. And we'll be back for another amazing episode of the value script. <laughs>